All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another video. Today's video is actually a video that I was supposed to be done. Like, I wanted to do this video a lot sooner, but um, there was already a video by Hyrus themselves on the YouTube channel, and I thought, nah, that's probably not necessary, since it's not even that complicated. But over time, I've been seeing a lot of people having struggles with uh, the bounty points, coins, whatever, or even buying stuff, or how to do everything to the point of just getting the coins and buying stuff. So today I decided to actually do a video with answers for everything and the method to get to a normal state where you just need to do your daily daily missions and then just buy whatever you want. So, first of all, I want to talk about the bounty points in the bounty store because a lot of people still don't know what they are. They keep asking me about the mixer points or viewer points because that was the last name. It was not mixer points for over a year now. It was actually viewer points. As you guys know, Mixer did close, so viewer points are, technically speaking, not available anymore. I mean, they still exist, and the store is still there, the viewer store, as you can see here. And, for example, I have these points, but what are they going to happen? Wh what is going to happen with them, right? So, it's not certain yet. Hyrus hasn't given a fully, you know, 100% confirmed statement about this. Um, even us, for example, on the stream team, we have no information about this. We know that apparently Smite has the viewer points on their Twitch, um, but this was something that was already done a long time ago. Their viewer store is a lot more complex than ours, all right? There's betting, and there's a lot of things related to their viewer points. So, leaving that aside, for now, no viewer points, maybe in the future, and if there is something in the future, I will be doing a video on that, so please, by all means, just sub to the channel if you don't want to miss videos with information like that, okay? And if you're, just just since we're already here and I'm talking about future videos and so on, I'm going to start doing most of my streams on Twitch, probably in the near future. So make sure you also follow me on Twitch. I'll leave the link in the description. Either way, let's continue. So the Bounty Store is right here. And some of you may have already found it, some of you already knew about it, and some of you have never even heard about it. The Bounty Store is a store that every 72 hours has a different skin in it supposedly you're not gonna have limited skins here and by limited I'm talking about something like let's say for example or Drogo's Abyssal Lord this is limited this is limited all right and HRX is limited this these are limited skins they're probably never gonna make it into their uh, that place specifically I know there's a couple of others like for example Fernando enforcer skin i know that the cold snap i think is also limited these limited skins the only way they can possibly ever come to existence for you to buy is probably like in a charity stream you know event or anything uh, but never actually in stores or even the daily daily deals or anything like that because limited that's exactly what it means it's limited it's not supposed to be bought ever again and we're talking about skins not avatars i know that avatars have already came back even after limited uh, as limited so forget about that all right so we get the skins every 72 hours new skins come up in here most of them are going to be rares uh exclusives and so on and for example today it's the alley cat mave as you know here it, as you you just gonna read here here price gradually decreases throughout the day but here's the thing um initially the idea was the more that it was being bought the more it would increase the price so i don't know exactly what they have done this is a question that even i myself am still struggling to understand i actually spoken to one or two devs already about this and there's not a real confirmation about it i'm guessing on the next patch there's going to be an explanation for it maybe some sort of a change where the store was supposed to go up in price uh, when they started selling more so it, right now they have like imagine they started with ten thousand, right now they're at nine thousand, so it's going the price up Right, this is what was supposed to happen, but this is not what is happening. Apparently, the price does not change when people are buying it, and instead, over the time, we're at 49 hours now instead of 72, so it's going down the price to make sure they actually sell the entire stock. So, I'm guessing this is what they changed, but they didn't announce this anywhere. And if you go into their video on their YouTube channel, it's literally telling you the more they're being sold, so the less the amount of skins remaining, 
the more the price uh, goes up, right? So, and that makes sense. But apparently, even now, this is saying something completely different. So, as of right now, I'm not entirely sure. All I can tell you is, if you don't have the coin straight away to buy it, you're probably going to wait a little bit and just check if the price is going down or not. And if it goes down and you have the coins, then buy it. That's pretty much it that I can help you. Also, here's a little thing. Um, there's a couple of bugs apparently still with the store where some people have managed to purchase things in the store and they got a ton of bounty coins back um, for some reason. People are already with 3,000, 5,000 bounty coins. I'm assuming these guys are going to have their bounty coins removed. So you can just forget about it, okay? Don't try to exploit it. Um, the way you get the bounty coins right away, that's where it tells you how much you have. And if you're not in this store, you can come in here. It's right there. But the way you get these bounty coins, let's forget about this right here, okay? This is a mission that it is here. All right, if we go back, accrue, accrue a total of 3,000 um, champion experience, right? 300,000, sorry. There it is. All right, it just shows you one of the missions. Just forget about it. That's nothing. What you want to come to make sure you've done all your daily quests is here. Every day, there's new quests. You can spin one of them if it's a little bit too complicated. Maybe you don't have a lot of time to play, and it's a mission that you have to play 10 matches. You either go for 10 TDM matches, or you just spin the quest. You can only spin one for free, so yeah, there you go. Um... And you can see the coins right there. There's the big packs. These two are big packs because they give you three. And there's the small packs that are easier to do. They will give you two. So max possible per day you can get nine. But there is still one thing we need to do before we get into the match and start earning our bounty coins. Some of you already asked me. You told me, hey, but I'm doing the missions and I'm not receiving the bounty coins. What's happening? Let me know what. Let me tell you what is happening. You guys probably didn't read what it was on the, sh the the patch notes, right? And on the patch notes, they explain specifically that you need to link your account. Some people thought, oh, this probably is for some something on the future where you have to link, you know, your account to Twitch. Maybe we can get the bounty coins there or something like that. No, in reality, you really have to link your account. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a help here. If you're on PC, you created your account on Steam and you've never been to this page that I'm showing you right here, you probably haven't created what it's known to be your high-risk account. So you create one, all right? And if you already created this before for some other reason, log in with it. After you create it or log in with it, imagine that you have your Steam account. You're going to have to come in here and make sure you link your Steam account. Okay, this is to prevent people from just using a ton of different accounts, smurfs and fake accounts, create 20, 30 accounts a day, and then just, you know, just come in here, not, not in here, come in the game, get all those coins and get the skins for free to fill up accounts with free, free skins, right? So, you create your high-risk account on that website, my.highriskstudios.com, I'll leave a link in the description, no problem. Um... And after that, you get in. I already got in with my account. This is a secondary account, not main, my main account. Uh, this is an account that I don't even use. And then you come in here, and you the minimum possible that you need to connect is the platform account you play on. So if you're playing on Nintendo Switch, Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox, please connect that to this Harris account. And just in case, because apparently there's some rumors about it, please link your Twitch. And if you don't have a Twitch, a Twitch just create a random Twitch it's nothing too crazy. If one day you want to start using your Twitch and you can't even remember that link, uh, that password and, you know, nick to enter the Twitch, you can just come in here and unlink it. It's harder to unlink your Steam account because you need to talk to them to do that. But Twitch is easy, so just do that. All right, connect your platform account and your Twitch account and you should be good to go, pretty much. After that, and basically just go into the game, play. Do your quests every single day, and after that, you'll receive the coins. After you receive the coins, go on the store and check out the skins. It's here telling you how much time till the next skin. As I told you before, no limited skins. And yeah, there's a limited amount of them, so you gotta be fast. If it's a skin that a lot of people wanted, like for example, let's say Daminate Maeve, a lot of people are gonna try to buy it straight away. And although we don't have a lot of players right now, as the precise moment that I'm recording this video, it's still almost certain that it's going to, you know, 
completely disappear. It's not the first skin that has gone that way. I, for example, haven't bought... Um, I have... I Wait, I bought one skin, um, but... I, like I have most of the skins on the store, so I don't really need to worry about it. Unfortunately, I can't see the price because I already have it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, I don't know how much this one is. It kind of varies a little bit. So if you can't get the first few skins because you don't have enough coins, just don't worry about it. Get every day into the game and do your daily quests. This is actually good for people to start playing the game a little bit more. At least just to do the daily quests, get those coins and then when they they have enough coins to a specific skin they're missing or if you are somebody who just started playing the game it's a very fairly easy way to get some skins so there you go pretty much what you have to do and how this entire thing works if you have any sort of an issue with it you can always go to support and ask them about it or i mean i do have a discord you guys can join my discord anytime and maybe ask me a question or two about it and if i can help you i'll let you know if not you can always go to the paladins official discord and ask there there's a ton of people in there and they have a lot of experience on these things so definitely they can solve you a problem uh, related to this if you're on consoles the process is pretty much the same you still have to connect your platform account and after that you just do your daily quests so that's pretty much it for it all right nothing too crazy um there's just a couple of questions i want to answer before uh, I released this video just explaining, oh, you do this and that. I want just to get let you guys know even about the mixer points because a lot of people don't know about that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below or join my Discord. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch for the streams, my YouTube for the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, have a wonderful time. Now, stay safe, people. Bye-bye.